stage three of La Vuelta a Burgos starts today in Calaruega, in the northern part of Spain. With the weather warming up a bit, it is still very windy. And for sprinters that could mean one thing, be careful for echelons and arrive safely at the finish line. Today is not a really easy finish uh, because it's a little bit uh, uphill again and so uh, yes I think that I have a good lead out uh, but uh, uh, I will see how the situation is and of course Lorena's wheel is a good option. The coming to the finish is the same like uh, was last year and uh, yeah today it's not that windy so uh, I will hope it's not uh, going uh, so hard like yesterday and it's going to the sprint, bunch sprint and uh, yeah I hope uh, we do our best and uh, we, are, we are going for some good results again. A relatively short stage today with 112 kilometers. And for the first 60 kilometers the peloton stays together. Until Morgan Coston breaks from the peloton. The French woman is not a threat to the general classification, so the peloton is letting her go. She is gaining some seconds and that is the sign for some riders to go into a counter-attack and try to bridge to her. The peloton is not happy with these attacks and ups the speed to get the counter back. Meanwhile, Coston is a half a minute ahead of the bunch and the peloton is controlling her. But it is not going fast enough for Shaila Gutierrez who attacks and she is getting six other riders with her to try to force another break. It doesn't take long before they bridge to Morgan Coston and the now seven riders work very well together and the advantage of the peloton is increasing. Meanwhile, SD Works is coming to the front of the peloton, speeding up the bunch, while the advantage has grown to a minute. All five riders of the team work hard trying to get the gap down. The question will be if they are going to make it on time. Entering the finish straight, the break still has an advantage. The Jason peloton is closing in. Is it enough? Comiega and Coston open the sprint. They have to stay away from the bunch. Behind them, Lorena Wiebers also starts a sprint with Elisa Balsamo right up her wheel. The Dutch European champion opens up her gas handle and just overtakes the breakaway and wins the third stage of La Vuelta a Burgos. When we entered the last kilometer I was like, yeah, this one is for the breakaway. But then after the, the last corner, uh, I started believing again and Demi did an amazing job as a last lead out. But also the whole team worked really hard for this one and uh, I started my sprint early but I had to, to catch him back. Into the last kilometer I let one of Uno X in but then I felt how strong Demi was so I went back in her wheel and uh, yeah, she set me up perfectly. Lorena Wiebes wins stage 3 of La Vuelta a Burgos. Elisa Balsamo is right up her wheel and finishes second. Shalek Gutierrez is the best of the rest and as a rider from the break she finishes third. Lorena Wiebes extends her lead in the general classification. Chloe Dijkert is still second and needs 14 seconds to win, the same as third place rider Demi Vollering. Elisa Balsamo is fourth and Soraya Paladin is fifth. Tomorrow is the fourth and final stage.